Fans, welcome to another edition of Grizzly Hockey. Division II rival, the Green Wave of Dover, take on your hometown Grizzlies. We have a quick little tie-up by senior goalie Ben Genest. I'm joined, as always, with my color commentary with uh, Craig Beck. Well, camera today is Scott Greenwood, and uh, I'm Al Putnam, the voice of the Grizzlies. Welcome. They're here at Sullivan Arena. This is going to be a good test for us today, uh, Craig. It absolutely is. Coming off a little three-game win streak, hopefully these guys realize that this is going to be one of the better teams in Division Two. This is, a, this is a game you would really, really, really like to play your best at. You know, there's games that you should win, and then there's games that are going to be a challenge. This is certainly going to be uh, a challenge. They're going to have their work cut out for them as the Grizzlies are battling behind their own goal, struggling to break the puck out. Um, and this is the Grizzlies' first line. Another shot on goal, soft as it may be. Another shot. Grizzlies trying to get, break this puck. Finally get out of the zone. Mason Mabel might have an opportunity here as he springs through the neutral zone. He's the only one trying to get something in deep. Yeah, uh, Coach Roy called for a change there, so Mason brought it deep, and the other two were able to change. Quick little shot tied up again. Glove save, Ben Genest. Boy, we're going to see a lot of pressure, I think. Uh, Ben's going to uh, yep. have to pull out another performance. He's been standing on his head as of late. You know, we just won the game uh, against the Owls of Timberland last week. Uh, Colin Holtz uh, captured his first win, which was nice. He did. He played very solidly. Yeah, Ben's going to see some rubber today. Devin Hool battling in the corner. Puck is uh, over the boards. I think one of the things that we were talking about the last game, and I don't know if it was uh, the opponent or whatever the case may be, but movement without the puck. You're going to have to see a lot more movement without the puck. Um, oh, right in the slot. Bro broke up nicely by Nick Nall, the freshman defender. That person went right through the slot. That's... Sam Greenwood trying to break that out through the neutral zone. Getting caught up. Green Wave getting the puck in. Good patience there. Sam Greenwood flips it right out. I think we're going to see a physical game, too, from the Green Wave. We have an icing. The Green Wave will have a face-off opportunity. Yeah, I don't know by the roster of Dover whether how many upperclassmen, but just looking at the size of them and looking at the uh, they look extent. like a mature team. <laughs> yeah, they you know? do. They, the extent of the number of the kids on the bench and the size of them, it looks like they're, they're pretty chalky. Is it some of the beards that, 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 that's giving you that? Yeah. The face it, mask? it might be. And Dover typically will play a physical type of game. Let's get that puck right out of that zone, out of the slot. Oh, Dover does it for us, gets it out of the zone. We have uh, Connor Easton on the attack. Corey Caceres, he'll bring that puck in deep. Tries to get something on the net, and he does. Yep, good play. Tied up by uh, Luke Ravenel for the green wave. Really get that first shot on the on the Dover goalie. And I was wondering, okay. yep, you see the uh, next third, line coming out. Yep, third line. Good that he's uh, you know getting as many fresh plates out as, as he can. Puts Mason Mabel with uh, Tanner Beck and um, Tyler Riendo. We call him Rondo. Dover flips it right up. Nevin Hu will handle that easily. Trying to get that puck out of the zone is uh, Tanner Beck. Oh, quick shot. Another opportunity. The more opportunities you have, the less, uh, the most options you're going to have on that scoring. You've got to just put the puck on net. It might not be the greatest thing, Craig, but opportunities happen, uh, or good things happen, the more opportunities you have. You do not score if you do not shoot. Get that puck out really nice with Tanner Beck on that one. It seems as though we're getting the puck out of the zone, but we're not doing much with it, and we're not being able to carry the puck out of the zone, which is going to be a problem um, as the game wears on if we can't carry that puck into the zone. Right, and if we're a one-dimensional breakout where it's just a constant pass to that point and we don't see center support, uh, Dover will start to read that and really start to pinch up on the, on the wings on the board. So it's got to be more than just one breakout pass to the wing. Center needs to be there shadowing the puck, just like Jeff did right there. Right in the slot, no one is there for the green wave. Broken up nicely by Connor Easton on the back check. Flipping it out is Jeff Paradise, trying to flip it out at least. Right there in the slot, broken up again by Nick Nall. Green wave has it, someone on top of the circle. Shot is wide. So far early on, we've seen uh, Dover really control this game. Quick shot, leg save. Ben Janess battling behind the net. Jeff Paradise scooches it right out over to Corey Caceres. Can't get it out again. Green Wave just dominating the play, time of possession in the zone. Right now, yep. 
They, they look to have the livelier, livelier legs. Go. Let's get some speed. He has speed. That's Corey Caceres. That's a nice. Dumped back in. That'll be a nice thing. Nope. No, waved it off. Waved off the icing. I wonder not, why. Not 100% sure why that got waved off. But. Now that's going to be an icing. Yep. And it'll be a face-off in the Grizzly territory. That Dover chip in, that was from behind the red line, and that was clearly up in the air. I'm not ever percent sure why that got, got waved off. And I don't think anybody could have had the opportunity to touch that. It was probably about 20, 25 feet up in the air. Yeah, I think uh, you're seeing a little bit more of energy from the Dover from the Dover Green Wave right now. Uh, and Goffstown's going to have to start to really start to match it. Puck is out of the zone. Boy, that's Ian, Ian Gately really hustling on this play, followed by Sam Greenwood. Right into the corners. Uh, Ian is there. Oliver Gunsky has the opportunity. Quick shot deflected. Potman has it on top of the circle. Dumps it in deep. Second. Has Greenwood and Gately behind the back of the net. Second player behind the uh, the first block was able to block that. Didn't quite get through from Oliver Gunsky. Good play there. He didn't have anything to get on that there. Just get it back deep. Kept it nicely. Then it's uh, deflected out. All the Gunsky up the up the boards. Sam Greenwood gets it out. Man changing on the bench. Players coming off. D to D pass right up through the neutral zone. We're going to have a whistle here. We're going to get a too many men penalty. Bench minor on the Grizzlies here. I'm not 100 sure why I would call that. You had two guys coming off the gate. We only had four on the bench at the same time off on the ice. Who's serving that penalty, by the way? Uh, Tyler Riendo. Well, as we've seen the last couple games, unfortunately, the Grizzlies are going to see what their special teams are made of early into the contest. I don't want to jinx anything, but uh, against the Timberland Owls, they were able to uh, they were able to clog up the neutral zone pretty well, and you'd like to see that again. Uh, and again, Coach Coach Roy's stance will be that he's going to change up the forwards very quick. Right in the slot, Jeff Paradise is there. Puck is kept in by the wave. Oh, right on the top of the circle. Broken up nicely. Griffin Barbaro lays himself out to block that pass. Great block. Great effort. Green Wave will have to clear. We have a delayed offsides. Handled by Joey Garen. He's going to try to ice that puck. Broken up right at center ice. Potman is there on the attack. Jeff Paradise is there on the attack. Oh, we got some physical play here for the Grizzlies. Handled by Ben Janess, flips it right up the glass all the way to the blue line. That's going to be nice. Cleared nicely by Sam Greenwood. Second penalty killing unit out there for the Grizzlies. Uh, I think it's uh, the combination's got switched up just a little bit. You got Sam and Tanner, uh, Sam Greenwood and Tanner back. Uh, and ultimately what you uh, Jeff and AJ got caught out there for the last little rush. Oh, right there in the slot. Nice broken uh, up pass by Nevin. Oh, broken up in front of the net by Ben Janess, tipped up. That's going to be in the Green Wave territory. 13 seconds remaining on the power play for the Green Wave. Hustling into the corner is um, Mason Mabel, tying up that puck nicely. Really like to see Mason uh, put that energy into every shift because he could be a force out here. Nick Null has it at center ice, gets it in on net. Good no penalty. No on that play. Good penalty kill by the Grizzlies. Grizzlies One little opportunity on with a penalty. great block by both Nevin Hull and by Griffin Barbaro by spreading out on the ice. See if they can pick up a little bit of momentum coming off of a, a solid penalty kill. Defenseman check in is driven Barbaro and Oliver Gunsky. A nice senior freshman matchup. Chase, right Chase. up to the point, Oliver Gunsky. Quick little shot in front of that. Tyler Riendo Ooh. poked at it. Was Mason Mabel. Quick shot again. Tyler Riendo, no, no goal. Good opportunity, though. Puck is tried to be cleared. Griffin Byro handles that, and that's sent back into the zone. No icing. Chase Dearborn hustling into the corner. Puck is brought out by Mason Mabel. Quick shot. Glove save. Good shift. Good Green shift to follow up. A good penalty shift. kill. Okay. 
Greg, I like seeing the puck on that side of the ice. Yeah, we generally That's do. Good. I think we just had to work things out a little bit. Let's keep the puck down there. Well, I think that uh, they realized that Dover came to play and they have to uh, pick up the energy. And uh, Gosstown seems to be responding, at least the last few shifts. Nick Nault sends it back in deep behind the net. Poffin is on the charge. Broken up, eaten nice by Ian Gately. Sent up all the way up the boards. Never who will handle that right at the red line. He flips it right back in. Potman's on the aggressive attack on this one, right into the corner, right in the middle. Oh, Nevin Hull oh, pops up, right over his stick. Pop right, right over his stick. Oh, we have a foot race on this, and they're going to get a shot and a goal. A shot and a goal. They've broken up. Nick Nolf could not handle that one. That was a little bit too much, and uh, boy, that kid was fast. He showed his speed on that one. He was able to pick the corner right up over over uh, Benjamin's shoulder. That's a tough play. That's a tweener play, whether you want to see Benjamin S come out and try and clear that puck or not. Gustown's got to answer. Boy, that's disappointing on that one. You know, after coming off a nice uh, job on the uh, penalty kill. Seems like the Grizzlies are always having to dig themselves out. And as of late, Craig, like you said, three-game win streak, they've done exactly that. But, um, boy, you hate to be in this hole so early in the first period. Dover, always a physical play. Broken up nicely in the back of the net. By Jeff some muscle on that, that play by Jeff Paradise. Banging up the boards. We might, oh! Griffin Barbro has it right at his own blue line. Dumps that puck right in on the goal, so it won't be an icing. Dover will be able to play it. We'll get a fresh new set of legs out here for the Grizzlies. Nevin Hool right there to uh, look for that pass. Nevin Hool going to bring it up. Tanner Beck just at the red line. Gets it in nice and deep. We have Tyler Riendo on the attack into the corner. Need to put pressure on the defense. Mason Mabel is there. Broken up nicely by the green wave. Tanner Beck trying to keep that. Struggling to keep that puck right in there. Nevin Hool does exactly that. Keeps it in the neutral zone. Bouncing all over his stick is the Green Wave defender. Can't quite get a hold of it. Broken up nicely in the neutral zone. Green Wave coming through the circle. Oh, they got tied up. Looked like they crossed sticks a bit. High slot. Oh, right there in the slot. Quick save. Ben Janess, what a save. Wide open was the Green Wave that's, right in the slot. Uh, that's center man's responsibility. Uh, Mason was a little late getting in there, and we had, you, you don't want to have both defensemen behind the net if uh, center man's not going to be there. Just over five minutes remaining here in the first period at Sullivan Arena where the Grizzlies are taking on the Green Wave. Tonight's Division II uh, rival, and the Grizzlies find themselves just a bit behind, one to nothing. Joey Garin at the top of the circle gets it right up off the boards. He has a helper there. It's going to be on net. He had to play yes, it. it's on net. Corey Caceres was hustling right down there. I think uh, I think one of the earlier games of the season, you said Joey Garin must be a geometry major or something because he, he, likes, he, playing it off the he likes those Absolutely. banks. He likes the bank off the boards, <laughs> and he does it well, as, as seen right there, folks. Yep. Right over the Griffin Barbaro. He had, usually has a quick shot. Uh, like his quick shot. He got tied up on that one. The yeah. got right in his face. And fan on him. Fan on him a little bit. Right out to the point through the neutral zone. Joey Garin is the first attacker for the Grizzlies. Cam Crowley, the goal scorer on that last goal for the Green Wave. Sends it back to Griffin Barbaro yeah. off off the boards. That, that first pass right there, he had Corey Caceres coming through the through the oh. zone. Green Wave took out his own player. You know, even though they got a lot of pads on, you get hit by that hard rubber puck. It's cold, and you can still certainly feel that. It'll sting you. It'll numb you up just a little bit. Well, it's good they're taking out their own players. Faceoff's going to be at center ice. Sam Greenwood, A.J. Potvin, and Ian Gately on the forwards. On defense, Nick Nault and Nevin Hool. Uh, I think the Dover coach is calling for the trainer. Yep. Wow. Yeah, um, I didn't see where he got hit, but he has his helmet off on the bench, and he's certainly hurt. Yeah, he looks like he's in a little bit of pain. Did you see where he where he? No, I didn't. Him? I just saw him hit the ice after the play. All right, got a little uh, time out here, or? I would like to think they're going to put a helmet on the kid. Yeah, while well, he's on the bench. Um, oh boy, uh, deflection, a uh, puck in the head would be no better. Okay. Nevin Hool looking for his options right up into the middle to A.J. Potman. 
Defender fall down. A.J. Potvin's going to be the first to puck. Has Sam Greenwood near the net. Quick centering pass. No good. Sam Greenwood behind the net. Good bid. Good hustle by both Sammy and A.J. They went and got that loose puck, and Sammy charged the net. Nick Null keeping it in. Sam Greenwood with the puck behind the net all alone right now. Potvin on the assist. Ian Gately trying to help out as well. Potvin has it. Top of the circle. Quick little shot deflected wide. Good little cycle they've got going here right now. Into the corner is Sam Greenwood. Right out to the point. Oh, just out of his reach. Ian Gately will flip that back in to get a new fresh set of legs. Oh, right on his stick with Jeff Paradise. Centers it. No one there in the slot. Nevin Hu will handle that one and get that back in deep. Jeff Paradise going after that puck in the corner. Sent right up. Corey Caceres is there. Handles it. Tries to get that puck back in. Green Wave sends it in deep. Switch it up a little bit here. He's got Mason playing left wing on this line where Connor Easton had been. Oh, Green Wave left unattended right in the slot or to the point. Quick little shot. No, broken up nicely by Jeff Paradise. Looking to get it out. Does exactly that to Mason Mabel. Has Corey Caceres there. Sends it in deep. Oh! Give me a penalty. We're going to have a penalty here. We're going to have an interference call yeah. on the Green Wave. First opportunity of the Grizzlies with three minutes, just under four minutes remaining. That was a late uh, finish of a check there. He gave him one good shot once he released the puck, but he decided to finish it and push him into the board. So Goffstown has an opportunity on the power play here. You want to see him be patient with the puck. You want to see him move the puck. Um, but it's about moving without the puck. Any loose pucks, you got to see one of uh, white jerseys on the puck. end of the uh, special teams here for the Grizzlies. Quick shot, diving Mason Mabel, trying to break up that play. Good save by Benjamin S there to push that off into the corner. Devin Hull will take his time on this one, bringing it right up, right up to Potman. Potman looking for his options. Oh, boy. Not a good uh, choice there. We'll have to have a word with him a little bit later <laughs> at home. Right there, Jeff Paradise right trying to get that puck in center ice. Puck is brought into the Grizzly zone. Struggling really with the uh, breakout of the power play here. Greg, you always say this, but the, uh, the the best power play starts with uh, handling the puck and possessing the puck, carrying it into the zone. Right. And, uh, we have not seemed to have done that, um, and it's just over a minute in the power play. Really struggling. See, but right here, when I talk about movement without the puck, the defensemen have to stop right there and start to carry it up. It's okay if they carry the puck here up. Here we go. Here's some options. Sam Greenwood to uh, Griffin Bobro to Sam Greenwood deflection. And they typically have more success once they get that face off in the offensive zone where they can uh, work their four check and try and work their power play now. Uh, I think it's something that Coach War is continuing to work on. That entry in, coming out of the defensive zone through the neutral zone has been that, something they've had to continue to work on. Work. We almost need a practice squad. Right back to the point of Griffin Barbaro. Looking for a shot. Quick little shot deflected in front by Sam Greenwood. No good on that one. Green Wave struggling to try to get out. Ian Gately has it right through the circle in the slot. No one's there. Green Wave sends it all the way down to Ben Jeunesse with a glove save. Joey Garen handles that one. Looking to move that puck over to uh, defenseman Griffin Barbaro. Right up to the neutral zone. Corey Caceres to A.J. Potvin going into the zone. We're all leaving here with just over one minute and a half remaining in the first period where the Grizzlies trail one nothing. Just out of the arms of Tip, Griffin Barbro, yeah, it will not be an icing. No, tipped off the blade of the stick, toe of his stick. Skip right over Ben Janess glove, wide of the goal. Handled by Jeff Paradise. 115 remaining in the period. Green wave through the circle, trying to get that broken up. Just out of the reach of Connor Easton. Trying to set down, get out of zone, can't be handled. Handled by Griffin Barbaro, 
Just under a minute remains. He gets it out of the zone for sure. It's going to be an icing. It's going to be an icing. Green Wave will get a new set of legs in Grizzly territory. You know, Craig, I thought um, I thought Dover was, you know, I know the uh, score reflects one to nothing, but uh, looking at the record and looking at some of the teams they've played, I was expecting a little bit more. The Grizzlies are doing uh, a decent job here. Big hit by Nevin Houle right through the circle. Handled by Ian Gately, gets the puck out, has an opportunity, skating right up towards it. Oh, skates right by it, it looks like. I think he was trying to uh, deflect from the hit. Broken up nicely by Nick Nolf. Great play. Puck right out of the zone. Ian Gately and Sam Greenwood on the attack. You can get something going. Oh, we're yep. going to have a penalty here. We're going to have a high sticking penalty on number 12, it looks like. That's Kieran Lombard. High sticking. Yeah, he took a, took a little bit of a run at court. The there uh, in the defensive zone, especially after that hit that Nevin had put together. So Goss now gets another opportunity on the power play. It's going to be nice to start the second period. Usually we're the ones uh, starting out low or behind. And this one, we're going to have an opportunity here. What I'd really like to see is they put the puck in the net, and it's a 1-1 game going to the end of the period. Okay, Craig, under five seconds remaining. Just keep the puck in the zone at this point. Come out, go to the locker room, spend some time, talk to the kids, and come back out charging with a minute and 30 they'll have with a man advantage starting in the second period. Yep. Folks, we hope you're having as much fun as we are. This is a great Division II matchup between the Green Wave, where they lead the Grizzlies one to nothing. We'll see you right back. We had a little extracurricular activity between A.J. Potvin and their wing. Yes, yeah. so fans, welcome back to second period action where the Grizzlies have a power play. Start off the second period with the power play, which is nice. Potvin over to Corey Caceres, trying to get some action off of Potvin's ankle, back of his ankle. Green Wave will get that out through the neutral zone. Interesting lineup for the power play here. Nevin Houle and Mason Mabel on defense, while Potvin, Easton, and Corey Caceres are your forwards on the power play. Minute 12 remaining on the power play. Nice way to start off a, a period, Craig. Usually the Grizzlies are the ones down. Right, absolutely. Got an offensive zone faceoff here. Big win. Puck goes right into the corner. Green Wave easily handles that one. Gets that all the way down the end of the Scaled ice. Scaled it right down to the end of the ice. Nevin Houle and Mason Mabel are both there. You know, that, that's what I like to see. I like Mason Mabel bringing that puck up uh, on that power play. Right over to Corey Caceres, right in the middle. Potvin is there. Broken up, Corey Caceres right in the middle of the slot, looking for something. Sent out of the territory, back into the Grizzly zone. 42 seconds remaining in the power play. Nevin Houle taking his time, getting that puck out. Nevin. Right up to center ice. Potvin is there. Gets it right off to Corey Caceres. Top of the circle. Quick shot. Deflected. Pad save. Right off over to the side. To the top of the circle. Potvin handles that. Gets that back in. To Connor Easton. Shovels it right down to Corey Caceres. In the slot. No good. Off the post. Right back to the point. Potvin is there. Quick shot. Nevin Houle. Oh! Shot is wide. Nevin Houle. Corey Caceres has the puck. With Potvin battling, Green Wave come out with it through the neutral zone. Goalie didn't see that last shot by Nevin Houle. One-on-one. Corey Nice play. We're Great. gonna have an opportunity here. Potvin bringing that puck up right over center ice at the top of the circle, looking for something quick. Shot, shot is deflected, rebound. Juicy rebounds galore in this game, Craig. Great little subtle move by AJ there. Looked to uh, drop it, but faked it. And right in the middle, oh, shot is wide. Ian Gately hand delivered that package delivery from Jeff Paradise, couldn't have wrapped it and delivered it any yeah, better than Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Ian's, Ian's shot was going in, but a Dover defense stick just got a tip on oh, it. Oh, boy, this wide. is great. Grizzly second period action is here. Oh, and we got the wave action going from the fans. Can the cameraman get that action? We got the fans going over there. Uh, they're settling down now. Oh, boy. Joey Garin doing, doing his darn. Oh, big check, Sam Greenwood. Laying out the body. Right in the middle, dangerous pass right there. Flipped right out of bounds, right out of the zone by Sam Greenwood. Handled by Ian Gately trying to get by. Jeff Paradise has to wait 
Sam Greenwood gets to get back. Right back to his stick. Oh, oh deflected. Uh, Would have had an opportunity. Oh, boy. Joey Garren hits one high right off the green wave. Uh, all you had to do is slide pass. that puck over. Oh, my gosh. Bouncing puck is dangerous. Grizzlies will handle that. We had, do have a whistle right now. Going to be a neutral zone faceoff. Boy, Craig, uh, intensity level for the Grizzlies, I'd say uh, up two notches this period. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why that whistle was blown. Maybe Dover hadn't cleared the zone or they're calling it an offsides. Um, or the ref, yeah, I think the ref is basically saying, my bad, I shouldn't have blown the whistle, so they're bringing it out. Green Wave handles that in the neutral zone, gets that puck in deep, wraps it all the way around the boards. Potvin is there on the wing. Sends it back. Oh, boy. To the right to the... Oh, broken up nicely. Might have an opportunity. Corey Caceres has Potvin, has Mabel. Corey will take that in himself. Oh, boy. He's calling Mason Mabel offsides on that play. Yeah, I didn't see either AJ or Mason being uh, offsides there. Looked like Potvin was on sides. I, I can't even imagine that Mason was offsides on that play. I didn't see any extra move by Corey at the blue line or anything like that either. Right into the zone, Corey Caceres has the puck along the board, sends it in deep. Potman going behind the net, going after the attacker. Right there, oh, right in the slot, no good. Corey Nobody tried there. to find Mason Mabel, no one was there. Pass up through the zone, he's gonna get pinched off. Right by Nevin Hool to Corey Caceres. Right a lot of action right along the boards. Oh, that's gonna be an offsides. I'll have We're to still offsides. Yep, Grizzlies will have that one to take out and clear. Oh boy, broken up right in the middle of the ice. Nevin Hool broken up again, handled by Bender. Puck is loose! Sent out by Corey Caceres, handled by Nick Nault right now, bringing it up, sends it along the dasher. Nice. Mabel, that's gonna be a nice, that'll get us a face off back into the grizzly zone. Yeah, and that's a uh, pass that um, Nevin Hool would want back. I think he saw a streaking wing up the side, but didn't see that one Dover player right there on the blue line. But Gilt is a uh, high motivator. You saw Nevin back check very hard to get back into Absolutely. the play. Griffin Barbaro there to handle that one. Sends it high up off the netting. Nevin, another, another face off. Zone face off. <coughs> Oh, uh -oh. no. Right in the slot. Oh! A paddle save! A paddle save by Ben Janess! Big save, perhaps the biggest save of the game so far. What a save. That one would be on ESPN with the paddle. Shot sent in to Dover Territory on the attack. It's Deanna Beck. Boy, he's got an extra bounce in his step today as well. Green Wave trying to bring it in. Deflected. Griffin Barbara will send that one back. That will be an icing. Dover will have a face-off in their offensive territory. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a defensive breakdown. Center uh, walked right in on Ben Janess, made a move. Ben was going one way, was able to flash the paddle, uh, flash the paddle Boy, and keep the puck from going in the net. It looks as though it's maybe only three inches wide, and it uh, it was the most important three inches that <laughs> uh, that he has on his equipment. That's for sure. Absolutely, he tracked Boy, that. He tracked that quite well too. I mean, that, that wasn't a fluke save. He saw that. Nice movement here. Ian Gately trying to bring that puck in. Brings it in. Up top of the circle. Just gets it in off the glass. Right. Oh, looking for somebody. The puck is loose in front of the net. Joey Garen is there. Get Come on, through. Joey. Quick little shot. Oh, deflection right there. Ian Gately. Shot is wide. Joey Garen keeping the puck in again. Jeff Paradise is there. Rubs the man right off the puck nicely against the boards. Oh, big collision right at center ice. Sam Greenwood delivers a hit. Nevin Hool trying to get that puck up. Sam Greenwood bringing it in. Has a defender to beat. Right along the boards. Potman coming in on the help. Mason Mabel there to help. Griffin Barbaro there to help. Gets the puck in. Puck is wide behind the net. Potman has the puck. Looking for help. Sends it right there. No one in front of the net. Green Wave flipping that puck right out. Griffin Barrow will be there. Boy, but it's deflected. Joey Garrett is there to help out his defenseman. That's why you have two, Craig. Joey Garrett right up off the boards gets it in. Sends it 
into the territory. Potvin on the attack, flipping it in. Mason Mabel there. Mason Mabel had now an opportunity. Corey Caceres, quick little shot, deflected off the glass. Right in front of the net, it's still bouncing and loose. Tied up. Like the energy level in the second pair, get more opportunities down by the Dover goalie. Um, Got to just keep throwing pucks on net, and uh, you hope you get a little puck luck and find something that trickles in. Looks like we get a different line matchup. Corey Caceres, A.J. Potvin, and Mason Mabel on the forwards. Different combination here, trying things out. Yeah, he switched it up at the beginning of this period. Green wave coming across the blue line. Oh, boy, that looked close to offsides. Yeah, the referee called it right away, though, so that it stayed in. Griffin Barbaro into the corner. Green Wave looking for somebody in the slot has it's, oh it's broken up nicely. That's Mason Mabel has Potvin on the trailer. Potvin on the trail. Got Mason him. Mabel might get right by him. Pucks Potvin underneath him. Mabel looks like the pucks underneath. Boy. You might think if the puck is under him and no one's getting up and no one knows it's there, instead of throwing punches, you blow the you blow the whistle, Craig. <laughs> so you let him start and play. Good opportunity for an offensive zone face-off. Like to see a clean win here. Maybe get a shot from the point and see one of the wings get in front of the net. Right in front of the slot. Oh, oh broken up. Uh, Nevin Hull was looking for a nice little yeah. dandy, dandy slap shot on that one. That was a puck good good thought by Tyler Rando, Riendo to get that puck to the to the point, but he's got to do it with a little more pace, a little more energy. To the point. For, oh, a lot of deflections in front of the net. No good. Oliver Gunski on the attack into the corner. Mm -hmm. Nevin Hull is there up off the dasher looking for someone. Puck will not be iced, but it clears the zone nicely. Green wave bouncing the puck up just like as Joey G would do. Big hit by Nevin Hull over by the Grizzly bench. Oliver Gunski clearing the puck, wrapping it around. Tanner Beck, closest man to the puck, looking to deliver a hit. Pinches out the man, puck goes into the corner. Good support there by Connor Eason. There's where center should be, right there. Be the second man on the puck. Ooh. Oh, right there in the slot. Quick shot, pad save with the blocker. Oh, gotta get, big gotta hit get behind that puck the out. net. Get it out, Slow Tyler. to get up is Oliver Gunski. That, that looks like uh, Tanner Beck right there on the play, keeping that puck in the zone while his uh, teammates regroup. regroup. Nevin Hool is there. Get say it all the time, up. but Nevin Hool is very patient with that puck. Very, very Doesn't patient with the puck. Doesn't panic at all. Not at all. He's trying to do something productive with the puck each time. There's no throwing of the puck, just the space. He's trying to do something good with it. Broken up nicely by Jeff Paradise, up to Ian Gately. Ian Gately has two defenders, flips it in, beats the defender. Looking for somebody in front of Jeff Paradise. Just on the wrong Just side. Just on the wrong side. Boy, you think he could change and be a lefty. No, they're going to get Griffin there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look, I'm going to call it out a roughing on Griffin Barbro. A little too much activity there. Nice We're going to call it a high stick on Griffin Barbro. It's going to be at 8-11 of the second period. So Grizzlies have had a lot of good energy, a lot of good zone time, uh, but now it's a matter of killing this penalty off. Special teams out there again. Potvin, Nick Nall, Joey Garin. Sam Greenwood. And Sam Greenwood. Some good pressure by the forwards there, making them do something with the puck. This will be a good opportunity if we can kill this penalty here. Let's get this puck out. Bounce the puck. Uh, Tanner Beck nicely ices that puck. New fresh set of legs on the penalty. Full, kill the full change. Teams. Full change. Hotman trying to slow him down. Need somebody to step up. Yeah, you want to slow that puck carrier right down. Oh, broken up nicely. By Oliver Gunsky. Good nice. stick. A good right good read slot. of the play. Absolutely. Stick in the passing zone. Another set of fresh legs out there. Nice. Oh, just out of the reach of Tanner Beck. Out into the corner. It's Nevin Hool. Nevin Hool will see what he can do. Ben's going to clear it. Ben Janess, the goalie, with his handy dandy paddle. 
in the paddle he trusts gets that puck cleared. Green Wave bringing that puck up. They're slow to do that. Big high over Glenn uh, Ben Janessa's glove right into the corner. Mason Mabel will clear that to the opposite corner. Green Wave goalie comes out to play it. Mason Mabel on the attack, really doing a nice job. Mason Mabel ends up with the puck. Someone is there in the slot. Potvin, let's see if he can help out. I think Mason was just trying to stand on that puck in the corner. Oh, just out That's of the nice. reach. That's going to be an icing. Good opportunity here. Short-handed offensive faceoff for the Grizzlies with 20 seconds remaining in their short-hand play with just over five minutes in the second period where the Grizzlies still lead uh, trail one to nothing. Pathler, three, two-thirds of the way through this period. I really like the fact that Goffstown's energy level's picked up. I, I don't think I'm going out on a limb to say that they've controlled the, the play in this period and had Absolutely. the better of the opportunities. Broken up nicely by Oliver Gunsky. Right there, Sim Greenwood easily ices that. Potvin is the lead attacker for the Grizzlies. We're going to get full strength here. Now it's all even. The goalie comes out to play it. Someone is there in the slot. That Sam Greenwood can't hold on to it. Looking for Ian Gately. Shot is... Paddle save. I've noticed that uh, the Dover goalie is pretty solid in his position and he's not going to give up any rebounds. It's the second and third opportunities where we had a better chance of getting the puck through the net. So. And Jeunesse comes out, paddle, plays that one right up the post. Oh, Jeff Paradise gets it out. He saw that hit coming. Sam Greenwood on the attack. Green Wave trying to get it in. Can't handle it. Oliver Gunsky sends it right back out. Will not be an icing. Has an opportunity. Ian Gately is right there with the goalie. Has somebody in the slot. No, can't get it to him. Bouncing puck. Bouncing puck, boy. That's tough to handle those bouncing pucks. Kept in again by Jeff Paradise. Boy, what a lot of hustle out of him today. Yeah, he's been playing very well. Ian Gately's been moving very well, too. Broken up here at center ice by A.J. Potvin. Still sent in by the Green Wave. Joey Garren sends it back to his goalie. Boy, Geometry was off on that one. Yeah, as, as you say, his, angles, his angle wasn't very good. Oh, oh. what a lead pass. Beautiful pass. Nice behind the back pass from Potvin to Corey. Now to Mason Mabel, looking for something. Potvin is there, dangles in front, can't hold on. Scooted out of bounds on a diving play by the Green Wave. Corey will send that in right to the goalie. No attackers, they will play this puck. Three minutes remaining in the period. No icing is called. Griffin Byro will skate all the way down. Boy, he has a little defender there coming right after him. Potvin handles that right at center ice. Green Wave sends it right back in. Sent over to Barbaro. Barbaro will send it right up off the boards. Ah, uh, just not enough on that mustard to get that out. Potman handles that right by the blue, and he easily gets it out, and it will be an icing. Oh, boy. Exactly. 2.59 left in the second period. You're hoping that... Uh, and like you said, Craig, a little more momentum on uh, Grizzly's side. Absolutely. Uh, you know, they're uh, they're carrying the play. We're going to have a little bit of work cut out for them now. you got got uh, two freshman defensemen in the third line playing against Dover's first line, so you just hope that... Uh, you just hope they can hold their own. Oh, boy, big hit along the boards. Good Sitting little out of chip. The zone. Here we go, Tyler Riendo. He's all by himself, tries to get by the defender. Can't get by. Puck is behind the net. Tyler's on the attack. Oh, boy, we're going to get a tripping penalty. Yep. Tripping penalty. Yeah, you called it. We we were the beneficiary of a late penalty in the last period. Now we're right back to where we normally are, which is killing a penalty right at the end of the period. Yep. Grizzlies will find themselves shorthanded one more time. Not the place you want to be when you're trailing a hockey game. No, you want to just close this out. It's good for the highlights, though, Craig, if you score. You get an S. Yeah, you know what? I take a nice clean kill right about now. Slap shot by the Green Wave. Grizzlies trying to defend the attack. You want to just say that you want to keep that puck on the outside of the circles, the outside of the dots. And now he's inside the circle. Big pad save. Ben flashes that pad. That will be an icing. Nice play by Nevin Hool. Again, yeah. Mr. Calm, Mr. Composed. Easily handles that puck and gets that puck 
I think I think what we've seen by Benjamin S is that if he sees it from 20, 25 feet out, he's going to make the save it. unless it's a picture perfect stop. Dover trying to bring it right through, right over in the zone. Quick shot, no good, deflected. Griffin Barbaro is there. Crisscross applesauce with those hockey sticks over there, Craig. A lot of action going in with Griffin Barbaro along the boards. Green Wave looking for some action on top of the circle. Quick shot. Deflected. It's in front. Oh, deflected nicely again. Somebody broke up that play. Very nice. Bounces out of the zone into the Dover territory. Mason Mabel there on the attack. Green Wave getting some new legs. Griffin Barbaro easily sends that opposite sides of the ice. You know what? With the two penalty killers you have on the ice right now, shorthanded. Oh. oh, Mason just misses that shorthanded one. Shorthanded opportunity is uh, is a distinct possibility. Can't hold on. Green Wave attacker slides down. That's going to be an ice. Oh, that's going to oh. be cleared. And we have Mason Mason's Mabel. He's going to handle the puck. Let's see if he gets some helpers here. Oh. No one is there right in the slot. He actually helped him clear the puck. Yeah, you'd like to see him uh, read that. It's a good thought, but you've got to read it and see if, see if he's nice. there. He's all oh, sent down out of the zone. Looks like a lot of men are on the ice for the Green Wave. 30 seconds remaining. Puck is sent all the way down. Bouncing puck at center ice. Potvin is there. Gets the puck in deep. Rubs off that hit. Has Mason Mabel in some support behind the net. It's Mason and Potvin. Potvin in the middle. No one's there in the slot. Broken up. Barbaro is there. Oh, I thought he was going to deliver a big hit. Nevin Hull will handle this one. 15 seconds remaining in the second period. He has Ian Gately wide open. Oh, here we go. We have Potvin. We have Gately bringing the puck in. Five seconds remaining. At least it's in their zone. We're not going to have to worry about another goal here. One second. That'll do it. That'll bring us to a close in the second period here at Sullivan Arena where the Green Wave lead the Grizzlies one to nothing. Folks, come right back. This is an action-packed, fun-filled game. Fans, welcome back to Sullivan Arena for third period action here at Sullivan Arena with, uh, whoa, boy, Greg, you see that puck? It just stopped Stop. a lot of water out on this ice. Uh, yeah, they need to let it freeze up a little bit more. Folks, third period action where the Grizzlies are trailing one to nothing over the Green Wave. Green Wave is currently in third place. This is uh, this is actually a very good game. Uh, tight, contested contest uh, for the Grizzlies. Oh, boy, that's, that's a lot of trouble with that puck. Puck won't even move. There's a lot of water out there. That's unfortunate. Referee should, uh, at the next whistle, take the opportunity to let the puck let the Ice freeze up a little bit. I have to lift that puck like that just to move that puck. That's a shame. Jeff Paradise keeping that puck in. Has a helper. Has Ian. Ian Gate. Oh, boy. And the puck freezes again. Yep. That's a oh, shame. Oh, and the puck is freezing all over the place. Ian Gately, quick little shot. Deflected in front of the net. Tied up. Green wave. They should give it another couple minutes to let this freeze. This is unfortunate. Yeah, they should. Tended to even out. Dover got a little bit of an opportunity down in our end because of it. Now we got an opportunity, but uh, Jeff Paradise was, was able to slide in, and uh, that puck stopped right on him. Yep, that looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to let it freeze for a bit. That's a smart decision. Great job on the officiating here. Just give it another three minutes, and it'll be fine. Folks, we have a little bit of a break in the action while the uh, ice is setting up. It's nice to see that the officials were uh, will take that into consideration, not just say, hey, let's get out of this game and get home. All right, you don't want to see a, a play happen one way or the other. The puck stops, and you don't get a chance, or it causes an opportunity. You want them to play on uh, on an appropriate surface. And you know, here at Sullivan Arena, Craig, they do, uh, they do a masterful oh. job with the rink, the ice, uh, the folks do a fantastic job over here. So it's very fortunate that uh, Goffstown Grizzlies can call this their home rink. It's uh, one of the better sheets in the state. We even have our billboard. If the cameraman can get a shot of our billboard. We're in on the, on the billboard this year, Scott. Got a zoom of that uh, home of the Goffstown Grizzlies. Okay. Feel as though that might work. It still might be a little bit slow, but 
we saw giving it a little bit of time to freeze up and uh, harden up a bit. Okay, so for the forwards, we have Connor Easton, Sam Greenwood, and Ian Gately. On defense, Joey G, Mr. Joey Geometry, and Griffin Barbaro. I think what he's trying to do there with Connor is coming in is try and get somebody else, change it up on the faceoff, see if we can get, get a win on one. We haven't uh, won many clean. Joey G trying to break up that play, slow down the pace. Look a little offside right there. The Green Wave have a shot. Oh! Goal, Green Wave. Boy, I didn't see where that would have come through. That looked like Ben had that short side covered up. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, that, uh, unfortunately that puck over on the left boards coming into the zone, you either got to stop the man or the puck, one or the other, and unfortunately we didn't do either, so they came in on a two-on-one. Griffin Barbaro was able to make the, uh, make the play that he needed to, which was a shot. Another opportunity in front of the goal for the Green Wave, trying to break it out, Corey Kitsiris, right up to A.J. Potman through the neutral zone, A.J. being rubbed off the puck, has a helper, looks like the puck got tied up a little bit over there, Potman loses his glove. Nice. Gonna get an icing here. We're gonna get an offensive faceoff. Looks like a little. Green wave goal on the play, number 20, Ben Henderson. Assisting on the goal, number 28, Robert Marcusic. Time of the goal to the third period, one minute and 14 seconds. It looks like we have uh, Coach Roy changing up the offensive lines just a little bit here. Um, maybe trying to create a little bit of something different. I mean, we haven't uh, seen many uh, pucks go in the net, so every once in a while it's a good opportunity to change this. it up. Oh, we're going to have an opportunity here. Odd man rush. Corey Caceres has Mason Mabel and Potvin right there in the slot. Doing his oh, Potvin is there. Can he get a shot up? No, he's handcuffed. Evan Hool hopefully gets a quick shot. Quick shot on goal. Save. Goal. That was a good opportunity there. Yeah. Uh, Corey. Oh, that was good. Corey was trying to push that puck over to uh, Mason Mabel, but unfortunately it kind of stuck up on him. This goalie is pretty solid. Same thing I said about Jan uh, Ben Janess. If he sees the puck, he's going to make that save. That was a shot from outside the circles, and yeah. he made a very clean glove save. Potvin was there in the slot. It looks like he got handcuffed a little bit down at his feet. Didn't have much of a room to Oh, Ooh. quick little stab at that was Mason Mabel. Tanner Beck doing what he can behind the net into the corner. Green wave breaking that puck. Oh, big hit! Jeff Paradise delivers. Steps up and takes the body. That was a great play by Jeff Paradise. Broken up nicely. Oh! Tanner Beck breaking up the puck. Nice. Right in the slot. He's fighting off is Nick Nault. Green wave looking for some more action. Passed good off to Jeff Paradise. Good support by Jeff Paradise there. Right out to the point. Green wave. Quick shot on goal. Ben Janess ties that one up. Again, if Ben sees it, he's going to make that save from out from the blue line. And he yep. gobbled that rebound up. That was a good play. And again, getting back to that uh, breakaway shot where they had the two on one. I, they didn't have much uh, short side action. No. Looked like it caught him between the tops of his pads and underneath his blocker, and it kind of just rattled home. Goffstown's got to respond here. He's got to see, uh, got to see some energy. Next goal is absolutely huge, and it's got to be Goffstown's thing. Robert handles that one. Tries to feed Potvin. Potvin is there. In front of the net, stabs at it, no good. That Mason Mabel's feet, oh boy. Guy delivered a big hit right at the bench. Mason Mabel and Hamlin going down. Great opportunity by Potvin's A.J. There. AJ Potvin. At it. Griffin Barbaro's there, Mason Mabel is there. Looking for something, shot is wide. Nick Nall stabs at it, gets it back in the zone. Right to Potvin's stick, right behind the net, sends it over to Mason Mabel. Back to Potvin into the corner. Need to see a little bit more uh, movement here on the, uh, there we Potvin go. Oh boy, we're going to have a penalty here. Certainly we're going to get a penalty. I'm going to call that a roughing penalty. We're going to get an extra attacker. We're going to call an interference play on the green wave. Yeah, it, uh, looked like a trip or a cross check on Mason Mabel in front of the net. After he scores his goal, he comes right back and gets a penalty. That's Ben Henderson with an interference. Goffstown Grizzlies really need to do something productive here on this power play. Got to break the ice here. Grizzlies on the power play, on the attack. Puck is behind the net. 
Oh, and it's bouncing right near the right near the goalie. Broken up nicely. Right to the top. Nevin Hool. Big shot. Save. Oh, and it's loose. It can't. Oh, and it's put in. It's put in. The puck is in the net. A lot of activity. Nevin Hool, Mason Mabel, Ian Gately. Grizzlies are on the scoreboard. It'll be two to one. Craig, not quite sure who had that one, but there was a lot of chippy. Uh, chippiness at that puck. We'll see. Uh, I want to say that Mason Mabel got it, but Ian Gigley made a great play to boy, keep it alive in the crease. Boy, stepping right up, coming right back. So the magic minute right after a power play goal is uh, this shift is important. Do not let any of that momentum uh, go. We're back now to a one goal game. Grizzlies are right back in it. Shot on goal. Ben Janess ties that one right up. Craig, all of a sudden, uh, this becomes another interesting game where it's just a one goal game and uh, a lot of opportunity here. You know, Dover is in third place uh, in Division Two. So, this is, I think the Grizzlies are doing a fine job making a statement to the entire league also that uh, they can play with these top tier teams. Absolutely. I don't think there's any doubt about that. When they come up play their play their top tip of game. Oliver Gunsky frees up Mason Mabel on a breakaway. Could tie it right here. Oh, the shot's deflected. Mason couldn't hold on. He got, uh, there was a borderline hook there. He got hooked on the uh, arm on the way in there. Nevin Hool really eyed in on that pocket. Sends it right in towards the goal. Green Wave will tie Take that up. Face off. Whoa, a little extracurricular shove there again by the Green Wave. Another one. As Mason skates by. Good little read by uh, Oliver Gunsky to send that into space. Mason uh, was able to corral the puck, get one good little shot, try to go five hole, and the Dover goalie was up for the play. Mason Mabel tried to get that in. Potman behind the net. Green Wave bringing that puck right up. We got to slow that attacker down. Jeff Paradise, they don't call him the mailman for nothing. He delivers, he'll deliver a punch for sure. Tries to flip it out, and it is out of the zone. Potman frees that up as a helper. Can't hold on. Almost, almost. Oliver Gunsky looking for his defensive partner to bring that puck up. Right up off the boards. Boy, they must be tutored by Joey, the geometry major. Jerry Jeff Paradise right there in front of that looking for helpers. Can't hold on. Uh, we don't want to get three guys deep, though. Griffin Barbaro will handle this one. It will not be an icing. There are two attackers on this play. Barbaro is right there. Up off the boards. Oh, just out of the reach of Jeff Paradise. Force, you want to force the play right there. That's all about just cutting off time and space there. Joey G to Griffin Barbaro right up to the center ice. That's your paradise to Tanner Beck. Barbaro will get that puck deep in that zone. Tyler Riando on the attack. Got to play the puck there. Yeah, play the puck. Can't right, get there. Tanner Beck gets that puck in the zone from center ice. Green Wave playing the geometry game right up off the boards. Oh, and a big hit right at the blue line. He guards that blue line as good as any Division II player. Griffin Barbaro, that's yeah. why he's a captain. Uh, delivers the big, big hit. And all that does is put a little hitch in the step of the Dover players trying Absolutely. to come across the blue Next line. Next time they come across that blue line, they're going to look up for number two. I guess they're going to dump the puck and not try and skate it over. Right up off the boards, Sam Greenwood can't hold on. Man in the slot, broken up, tied up by Ben Genest. Whoo, third period action here today, Craig. Yeah. The afternoon game, this is exciting. I think they've continued the play that they played in the second period. Unfortunately, just one little defensive breakdown in the uh, first minute, minute and a half of the period. Still got them a one goal deficit. It could be it could be an even game here. And we saw what happens when you uh, get the puck at net. Yep. Devin Hull flips that one right up off the boards. Green Wave will handle that one, sends that right back in. Behind the net, Nick Nault is there in the corner. Trying to bring it up the boards. Ian Gately gets it out of the zone. Devin Hull will handle this. I like it when time. he handles that one. And, oh, what a Dixie do move. Dixie do right around that defender and puts it on goal. We're going to have an offensive faceoff for the Grizzlies. Good little geometry there. Fortunately, that one that went on that. Potman, Caceres, Poole, Mabel, and Nick Nall. Sounded like a broken record, but these offensive zone faceoffs are imperative. You want to come out of this with possession. You really, really do. It, it's a perfect opportunity to create some offense. Get right up to the point. Mason Mabel, Corey Caceres, and Nevin Hull. Quick shot, it's bouncing! 
and the puck is in! The puck is in the net! Kevin Hull ties the game for the Grizzlies! It's all tied up here with just under eight minutes here at Sullivan Arena. Grizzlies charge on back to tie up the green wave late in the third period. So what I'd like to say here is that uh, this is eerily familiar to that Bedford game. We were 2-2 with about seven and a half minutes left. Bedford. Well, we got another whistle here, Craig. Something's tying up the action. Bedford was able to answer uh, and come out and score a couple of goals. I would expect Dover to come out lights out. Uh, Goffstown has to respond. Goffstown goal on the play, number eight, Nevin. Ooh! Assisting on the play, number 23, Mason. Mabel! Time of the goal in the third period, seven minutes, eight seconds. Woo! Okay, Craig, this is where it gets in the nitty gritty, right in front of the net. Can't hold on. Nevin Hull will handle that plenty one. He's ice. got momentum, too. He's, got plenty He's ice. charging up that ice. Has a forward. Mason Mabel into the corner. Has Potvin in front of the net. Has the assist. Oliver Gunski will get that puck back in the zone nicely. Get a new fresh set of legs. Seven minutes remaining in the game. Tie all tied up here on this Division II matchup. We're going to have an icing. Ooh, that was, a, that was a pretty generous call by the referees right there. That went right by Griffin Barbo's feet. Bringing up your conversation from just a moment ago. We got an offensive faceoff here at Sullivan Arena. And yeah. the fans are going wild here. They like that one. <laughs> so seven minutes left. And really what you want to see here is you want to see Goffstown answer the bell. They, you got to create a winning environment, a winning atmosphere. Great win. Right to the point. Devin Hull can get a quick shot. Oh, it's deflected high off the netting. We're going to have another face-off in the uh, Green Wave territory. You want to create an environment of winning. You want to make sure that this is the most important time of a game right here and your players come out and, and play. Hopefully they learn from that Bedford experience of being in this position right here. Dig hard and dig whatever. Uh -oh. Play this one. Right over the red line. Green Wave get it in deep. Benji Can't take the face-off. Expect... Uh, Four changes, yep, I would expect that. Get a little bit of a breather for that uh, first and second line. Now you're gonna change them up. Change it up, we're going back with Potvin, Mabel, and Caceres. I really liked, uh, you know, that's probably one of the first clean wins we saw on a faceoff. Jeff Paradise uh, was able to do that. There okay, we go. Another one. Nice, Jeff Paradise. I'm sorry, Corey Caceres. Oh. He didn't call it. All right, I think Griffin yeah, Barbaro is half expecting the referee to call that play line. Call something there. Yeah, he yeah. kind of looked up. Oliver Gutsky trying to handle that one. Get yeah. it out of the boards. Get that puck out of the zone. He does exactly that with a nice little shovel pass. Yep. Gets it out of the zone. Green Good. Wave have possession. Good they just flip it all the way back into the corner. Ben Janess handles that. Hands it out to the captain. Griffin Barbaro looking for options. Sends it right up on the boards to Mason Mabel. Mason Mabel having a little bit of trouble. Green Wave with the puck. Oh! Big stick there by Ben Jeunes, keeping that puck into the corner. Potman is there. Good Gets play. it out of the zone nicely. Good. Now, it's one thing to clear the zone, but it's another to kind of maintain some possession. Job number one is to get it out of the zone. He didn't have much of an offensive right pressure there. Oh, boy. That's going to clear. That's going to get an icing. It's a good smart play by AJ, though, to get that puck out. Just a chip, chip by the defenseman. Knowing that you've been in that zone for a while, at some point you just want to get that puck out one way or another, get a, get a face off and get a new charge of legs. You got it. You got it. Going back to the Connor Easton, Ian Gately, and Sam Greenwood line. We're going to have a timeout. Timeout, Green Wave. Interesting, with five, six minutes left. Timeout, go, go. They've got their top line out, uh, the goal scoring line. Uh, maybe they want to give them a little bit of extra time. Typically, you start to see coaches shorten the bench a little bit. Um, I like the fact that the Grizzlies still have their maintain their timeout in case they need it to, at the tail end of the game. Yep, each team gets one timeout a game, and so Dover's use theirs. If this game goes into overtime, I think they actually to get an, a timeout in overtime as well. And I believe, and don't quote me, I believe the rules for uh, high school hockey is that there's one five-minute overtime if this game ends in a tie. I don't know if it's four on four or five on five, but they do play in overtime. Interesting. Uh, so games can end in a tie, but it's got to go through an overtime, scoreless overtime as well. Back to Mabel, Caceres, and Potvin on the forwards. And on defense, Joey Garin, Joey Geometry, and Nevin Hull. Potvin tries to go right. Oh, puck is deflected wide. 
Joey G getting up to Mason Mabel, right up to the point, top of the circle. Deflected in the slot. Heist oh, it. boy. We Great got a call. high stick by. Wow, we needed that call. Great nice. call by the referee, though. Great call on the referee to catch that high sticking. Fortuitous for Goffstown, but that was a great call. Yeah, we're going to get an offensive faceoff because that comes out into rule 316, faceoff in the opposite end. There you go. And you asked me how I know that rule, Craig. I think you explained it in the first game. You you took one. Boy, I took one one night, then the next day, and the day after that. So I decided to look it up, and it's, it's rule 316. Oh, Green Wave on an opportunity broken up by the captain nicely. Fortunately, that pass that pass was uh, a little late in getting to that lead. Oh, taking a cue from his senior defenseman with the Dixie Dew, getting that puck up. Connor Easton deflects it. We're going to have an icing. It did deflect off of Connor's stick well before the red line. Yeah, that was marginal. The defenseman there on Dover, I think, actually got a little bit of a piece of that, but that's all right. Did you want to make a call down to the officials, Craig? Yeah, I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty. I don't have the hotline number. I've been uh, been at this for a while, and I don't think I've ever changed the referee's call. And I don't think I'm going to start now. Just under five and a half minutes remaining. We're all tied up here at Sullivan Arena. Right in the slot, top of the circle, quick shot, and the puck went in. Boy, it looked like it got an angle, because like you said, uh, Ben really gets a handle on those. Looks like it got deflected. Hold on, I, I referees are discussing it. it. Oh boy, wait a minute, this. This could this could be big. Let's see what this nope, is. They're calling it. They're yep. calling it as a goal. Like a goal. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, the referees were just conferring with each other, make sure they saw the same thing. Yep. Oh boy. Offsides. Just over five. Grizzlies have their work cut out here late in the uh, third period. We're going to see what we can do. Jeff Paradise bringing the puck up, clears the zone. As Connor Easton, they're both attacking. They're both going in strong. Tries to center it. Can't happen. Puck is brought out to Nevin Hool. Gets a quick little shot. That's what I like to see is that shot right on that net. Create that bouncing puck. Nevin, oh, tries to keep it in. Right at center ice, he flips it right back in. Really solid play there, though. He knew the puck was by him. He was able to keep his body on the, on the forward player. Ian Gately right, charges right into the corner. Connor Easton is there to try to break up the play. Joey Garrett sends it right back in. Grizzlies will get a change of uh, legs. And hopefully make something happen. Sent all the way out. Griffin Barber was right there at the blue line. He sends it in. Griffin Barber right at center ice again. Sends it right up off the boards. Potvin is there this time. Has Mason Mabel. Sends it off to Mabel. Mabel, quick shot, just a little wide. Caceres is there behind the net. Still has the puck. Trying to do the Dixie Do right around the defender. Nick Nault is there, tries to get a quick shot. Can't be handled. Nick Nault to Potvin to Barbaro right at center ice. Sends it all the way deep in. Mason Mabel, first one to the puck. Corey Caceres, Nick Nault right there. Quick shot, way wide yeah. into the corner on that one. Oh, that's going to be deflected right into the Greenway bench. On that rush in with AJ, and you got a little bit of space. AJ tried to take it over to the side. You'd like to see Mason either sprint and do a net rush or, or stop and create a little bit of space, not just stay right next to him. They didn't really have much going there. Just over three and a half minutes, Craig, here in the third period where the Greenway just took a lead at three to two. Unfortunately, right after the Grizzlies tie up. Oh, opportunity here, Jeff Paradise. Nevin Hool will handle this one as it comes into the zone. Oh, we got a little bit of slashing going on. He sends it right up to his forward. Ian Gately sends it right in towards the goalie. Bouncing puck, can't be handled. Ian Gately gets it back, shot behind the net. Right in front was Jeff Paradise. Nevin Hool will take a shot. Oh, deflected. Uh, block. Good block by that Dover player right there. Wait, wow, what a shot. Way wide, way behind the net of Ben Janess. Joey Garin will handle that one right up the boards. Jeff Paradise, big hit right at the blue line. Sent in. Nevin Hool handles that one. Looking for a forward to break that puck out. Broken up right on the dot. Wow, shot wide by the green wave. You're going to want to start seeing our, your defenseman take a little bit of chances. Uh, you're going to have to see him rush in. We've got to get some extra guys in. Jeff Paradise trying to get that puck right in the corner. Nevin Hool battling for the puck. Jeff Paradise finally has it, bringing it out. Right out to the defender on the blue line. 
So we Garen first to that puck, trying to handle that, and sends it back into the corner. Broken up by Jeff Paradise. So we Garen is there, brings it up, frees up Ian Gately. No, nope. the Grizzlies are going to get a change. He was good and strong on the stick. He just needed to set that forward just a little less. Just over two minutes remaining. Grizzlies trying to keep that puck in. I think they do, they do. It's in the corner. Mason Mabel, somebody in front. Potvin's there, no good. Can't get the stick on it. Barbaro, big shot, unloads. Wow, the shot is really wide. Nick Nault. He got deflected. Nice play by Nick Mason there. Mason Mabel in front of the net, no one is there. Griffin will have another shot. Barbaro, quick shot, wide again. Mason Mabel holding the puck behind the net. Potvin's there. Can he hold on? It bounces right off his stick. Sent out of the zone. So nice if it gets there. Just yep. under two minutes remaining here. Now, Paul Roy, Coach Roy, held his timeout. You may see some uh, utilization of the timeout here. Down by a goal. 145 is a little early to be pulling your goalie. You might want to wait and see if you get one more offensive zone face off before you pull your goalie. Yep. Oh, they're just calling the timeout now. Yeah, they're going to give him some legs, but my guess is Ben will stay in the crease. Maybe we go halfway. Well, we had a lot of action here for sure. We had a late comeback by the Grizzlies. It's now the third period, and we see ourselves trailing uh, just under two and a half minutes or somewhere around 240 remaining in the game. One, 143. 143, just under two. I was saying before that we were in this position with Bedford uh, and seen a little bit more sense of urgency this, uh, this game. Uh, what you really like to see is the teams learn and grow from this experience. I think... Uh, Gosstown's uh, in a position to be able to make the playoffs and you want to continue to grow and learn from these experiences they move into the playoffs because come playoff time you need to be able to develop a winning not a winning formula or a winning attitude but at the end of the day you got to be able to close games out being close is only going to get you so far yep. and they got to learn from these experiences right now we're just looking to get a tie let's tie it up first yep oh we're going to have penalty on the play Dover no oh. Matching. Looks like Potvin. Wow. Yeah. On interference on both. Some school of thought would be that that's uh, just good, good hard hockey, but okay. As what long as it's as long as it's matching. Were they both interference? I didn't see. I will wait for the call from the what, box. What was the number? Did you grab a number of the Craig of the guy? One of yeah, the, 21. AJ Popkin. No, the other one. Dover. Okay, Grizzlies are right here, trying to get it on the blue line. At least it's all match. Nevin Hool, quick shot, bad save. Puck is cleared all the way down the zone. That's going to be an icing. We're going to get an offensive faceoff. Now Coach Roy is going to strongly consider pulling. Looks like Potman got a holding and uh, 11. Yeah, Coach Roy is going to pull Ben Genest off the ice. Oh, he's going to be halfway. right at the point Nevin Hull big shot it's a bouncing puck in front of the net oh boy I think that was the Grizzlies opportunity there was no tripping penalty ah, we, we got away from that one there we did get away Barbaro delivers a big hit right up to center ice can't hold on we pulled our goalie got another defender trying to bring that puck right up 55 seconds remaining sends it all the way around the boards sends it right up broken up by Nevin Hull Right out at center ice. Grizzlies have one more charge here. Griffin, uh, Nevin Hool hit. They got to the move their feet. Uh oh, uh oh. Mason Mabel has the puck. He's on the blue line. No, he's all alone. Can't hold it. Oh boy, big hit. Jeff Paradise is there in front of the net. Shot was wide. Connor Easton couldn't get a handle on it. Puck is still there behind the net. Flipped out of the zone, right into the Dover box. That was a great play by Jeff Paradise to get that over to Connor. Seconds remaining. We're going to have an offensive faceoff, folks. This is right. This is the bond burner right down to the very end. Open net, 22.8 seconds remaining. 
Grizzlies seeing what they can do. We gotta win this face off. Sam Greenwood sends it right into the corner. Grizzlies trying to grab that puck. Griffin Barber will be there, 17 seconds remaining. Right over to Nevin Hool, has a shot. Quick shot, and it's in the goal! It's in the goal! Grizzlies score, tie it up! 11 seconds remaining in the game! Grizzlies deliver a punch from Nevin Hool to tie the game with 11 seconds. What a goal, Nevin Hool! Unbelievable! Grizzlies tie the game. What a standout performance by Nevin Hool. Great. Boy, oh boy. Great pass by Corey Caceres over to Nevin. Great pass by Corey. Game's not over, though. Ten no, seconds left. Ten seconds, a lot of time. Get the puck in the zone. They can't score when it's in the zone. Missed the geometry again. No, that was, that was Griffin Barber. Well, he Barbara. took tutorial classes from <laughs> Joey, Joey Garrett. <laughs> That's going to close it out with the Grizzlies tie up the game by a great spectacular shot by Nevin Hole. Yeah, it was Nevin Hole. Corey Caceres delivers a nice pass. Un unassisted. Well, how did he get the puck? That's what I always wonder when they say unassisted. I don't understand that. Okay. Goffstown goal on the play. Number eight, Nevin Hool. Time of the goal in the third period, 14 minutes, 39 seconds. Woo! So we're going to go into a... Uh, fans, we, we're going we're to have an overtime, some overtime action. Boy, this is the price of admission. This is what you get over here on uh, Martin Luther King Day, Civil Liberty Day, call it what you want, but it's a holiday for a lot of folks, so we have more fans than usual here at today's game. They were asking how long the OT was. Looks like overtime is going to be five minutes. I think it's either going to be five minutes or seven and a half. Fourteen, it was 14 49, 49. 14 49, that would be correct. 14 49. Boy, oh boy, folks, this is an exciting matchup today. And, you know, good job for the Grizzlies. Um, right now, early in the season, as it stands in sixth place, Dover in third place. So this is. If nothing else at all, Craig, this is a huge motivating yeah. step for these kids. Yeah, and I think uh, I think ultimately what you're seeing is is that when we play the teams that are technically in the top four or five, we can play with them, and and you want to continue to build that confidence so that as you go into playoffs, when you get into the quarterfinals and the semifinals, you're playing against teams that you've had success against. Boy, and you know, it, I, I said a lot. I like the shot from the point. Griffin Barbaro, monster shot. Nevin Hool, monster shot. We got to get them that opportunity to either go in the net like it did or simply create rebounding, juicy rebounds on the opportunities. Right. So contrast this to the Bedford game. 2-2, two, two, seven and a half minutes left. Uh, you're playing a talented team that's got opportunity. Oh, boy. Just looking at a replay shot here, and what a beautiful shot going right into the net. Nice. Bedford's got the opportunity to come in and put the puck in the net, and they put three or four in. You, you get a two more weeks' worth of experience with this team. It's a 2-2 game coming into the seven, uh, seven and a half minute game. Now, Dover's not quite as strong as Bedford, but at the end of the day, uh, you got to answer the bell, and I think that uh, the Grizzlies have shown that. Even showing any more, even showing a little bit more uh, fortitude going down with uh, two minutes left, they're able to battle back. They pull their goalie, and they're able to uh, put the puck in the net. That's, that says a lot about this team. They're going to grow from Frank this. Just brought up to us by a Cracker Jack photographer. Brought up the uh, picture almost like from behind the net. The puck going right into the net. Uh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful camera shot uh, that Nevin Hull was able to capture right there. Was, uh, that was something. Okay, here we go. Overtime action. Okay, looks like an eight-minute overtime. It's going to be four on four. Uh, no, no, it's five on five. They were just short a man. No, uh, you've got the matching penalty, so they weren't done, and they get to stay in the box until there's a whistle. Okay, Griffin Barbaro trying to break up that puck. Sends it right off, right off to the defender. Boy, right off of uh, Ben Janess's glove. Joey Garen, Mr. Geometry, handles that one right up off the boards. Sends it to the point of Dover. 
Right on net, broken up nicely by Jeff Paradise. Looking for help as has Connor Easton. Gets the puck in. Good right play there. The Connor Easton needs Connor to get in there Easton. and get on that puck. So we get, oh, just out of his reach. Can't keep it in. Tries to flip it back. In the neutral zone are the green wave coming at him. Good second effort there by Joey Guerin to break that puck up. Sent all the way in by the green wave around the corner. Griffin Barbaro was there, has an attacker coming at him. It's gonna be nice. Oh boy, that's gonna be nice. There was nobody there. He sent that rink side all the way down. So this is almost like another half a period. So we're playing a three and a half period game here. Uh, first and minute. He decided, it, it, oh, it's no golden goal. It's, it's, it's golden goal too. If you score. Uh, AJ Potman had jumped the. Uh, we have a flag on the field. Looked like he had an encroachment. That <laughs> yeah, was encroachment in the neutral zone. Encroachment there. in the neutral zone by number 21, <laughs> AJ Potman. That'll be first and 10 for the Green Wave, folks. Well, Potman comes out with it right in the crease. Uh, looking for helper. Has Corey Caceres flips it right up. Corey on the breakaway. Corey, it's a short goal. Grizzlies win. Grizzlies win. Corey Caceres on a pass from AJ Potvin in overtime. What a great oh play. Oh my gosh. What a great finish. Four, 54 seconds into overtime. Corey Caceres from AJ Potvin on the breakaway. Unbelievable Grizzlies come out with a win here on Civil Union Liberty Day. <laughs> Woo, Grizzlies. AJ Potvin made a great touch pass to Corey Caceres there. And when you see AJ skate like that, you or uh, Corey Casera skate like that, you uh, you know that when he skates like that, he's going to get behind people. Grizzly goal on the play, number 12, Corey Casera, assisting on the goal number 21, AJ Potvin, also assisting on the goal number 23, Mason Mabel. Time of the goal in overtime, 54 seconds. Woo! Craig, what a victory the uh, Grizzlies grab off of uh, Division uh, 2, number 3 in the league, uh, Dover. Boy, what a game by Ben Genest. I mean, yeah. we, we want to look back at some of the saves. The paddle save. The paddle save was uh, a big one. Yep. How, about, how about the shot by Nevin Hool that tied the game? Yep. How about the play that just beat the green wave in overtime? Potvin frees it up. He gets it from Mason Mabel. The whole line, all the forwards uh, uh, contributed on that particular play. Folks, if you haven't got the idea of coming down to Sullivan Arena for a home game for the Goffstown Grizzlies, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you're watching this on TV, come down to the next game. Right. Next Saturday night. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Great we'll see game. you at the next home game. Bye-bye.